Welcome back to First Education, this is Zend. Two things to look at for today, plus additional technical analysis. The first one is customer reviews we're going to go through today. And then the second is some of the PRs we're going to anticipate for some time soon or hear more about. And then the third thing here, which is a technical analysis that I said is additional. Let's jump right into this one. So if you would like to watch my previous video, you'll find it in the description below. But Fubo is a live sports and TV without cable. It's a streaming service with different channels such as BN Sport, Fight Network, Paramount Network, Fubo Sports Network Game. And they're available on Android, iOS, Fire TV, Roku, Chromecast, and the list goes on. Now we're going to cover a little bit of the latest news here under investor relations. We see that the latest news includes that their earnings will be given on May 11th. Now, May 11th for quarter one, 2021, that's a while ago from a while ahead from now. So you're probably looking at a month and two weeks now for six weeks from now. But it's still interesting to book your mark, your calendar onto that day. And keep in mind, that's the day when their next revenue is coming up. But nonetheless, some of the things we know about quarter one. For instance, our goal for 2021 and beyond is to develop Fubo TV into a new kind of media company that combines innovative streaming video and sport wagering, said Edgar Bronfman, Jr. Executive Chairman. Fubo TV, we intend deliver on delivering leading sports, news, entertainment, content, a growing subscriber base, transcend the industry current vital uh, or virtual MVPD model, and we're excited about our abilities to capitalize on the future market opportunity. And they go further on in this May 11th news, they do mention that Fubo Gaming Incorporation, a part of Fubo TV, expects to launch Fubo Sportsbook, a comprehensive sports and entertainment experience through sports betting interactive gaming in quarter 4, 2021, subject to obtaining prerequisites regulatory approvals. And so that is definitely something that is very interesting to get. Additional to that is uh, the free to play gaming app on quarter three, 2021 that they will be also launching. So you can get to see in the next two quarters, quarter three and quarter four, you will be expecting that these gaming apps, including like the betting ones, for instance, that will bring a whole one app or one platform for both watching sports and wagering on them. And now we can move on towards institutional buyers before going on towards reviews and technical analysis. But if you're enjoying this video so far and you would like to see more contents like this, please make sure to drop a subscribe and leave notifications on. And if you would like to join our Discord server, it is in the description below and it's free. You can chat with me all day. And so on some of the latest institutional buyers, Morgan Stanley picked almost 1.60% share onto this one on the 10th of March. Stad Mark, the list goes on in terms of institutional buyers as passive investments. And in terms of just general institutional buyers, we get to see that March, especially this week, we see a good amount of additional shares or positions for this company going in hundreds of thousands of shares. Vanguard, Blackstone, Small Cap Growth Fund, One Class for Anox, the list goes on, a part of balancing their sheets as well. So we look here on the 1st of March as well, they've been adding a bit more millions and millions of shares, including Vanguard's as well. So this, this definitely looks really bullish. Insiders, we don't see much going on here. But in terms of reviews, I wanted to take a look into this one. And this is from Trustpilot. So far, majority of these reviews are very, very bullish. And a good part of understanding how uh, the company operates, you need to look from a customer standpoint that the customers are happy. So far, it has a 4.0. And so far, these things are looking really good. Some of them might be technical difficulties in terms of the negative remarks, but in general, it is looking really good. So one here, subscription terminated because it didn't want to pay twice. And due to possibly computer glitch, I was charged twice for my monthly services. Unfortunately, it wasn't showing on my FUBA account, just my credit card statement. I had to dispute the claim and therefore my account was terminated. I received no help from FUBA in trying to see what might have been happened. Now, of course, this is one bearish point and you get to see the customer service are actually right on hand to try to you know make it right but in any company things happen like that and it looks like for every i'd say 15 10 good positive reviews you get one negative which is not a bad uh indication so now we can move on towards technical analysis to get a better perspective on the price point since it's dangerously on a significant support level now, on a technical analysis point of view, on a one week perspective, and just keep in mind that the market has been taking a beating recently. So it's not only this one's fault. So things are looking a bit bearish here. 
the MACD is going negative and it's an indication for a negative trend that was triggered more around four or five weeks ago. 10 SMA is above the 30 EMA, which is a bullish thing, and the trading action zone where the positive reverses are likely are between the 3526 mark and the 2728 mark. So if it does bounce within there, you can easily see a positive reversal. Now, in terms of 50 SMA, it's actually above the 200 SMA, which is also a bullish thing. But again, things might start looking a bit bearish again as this one continues to go downwards. Now, in terms of a one day perspective, things are looking a little bit similar. The MACD is going negative, momentum is negative 1259, but it's highly, highly oversold and it's actually below the 200 SMA. So it definitely needs to be above that 2160 to be even considered somewhat bullish. Now, again, the market has taken a massive beating and a part of this one here is that it didn't recover nicely as some other stocks. Now, moving on towards the moving average band. On the top, on the Bollinger Bands, 39.11. On the bottom, 21.56. And on the moving average bands, it's 33.37 on the top, 30.34 in the middle, and 27.30 in the bottom. And so you start expecting that it does stay within the Bollinger Bands and within that moving average bands. However, it's been clinching on towards the bottom Bollinger Bands. And so you can start expecting perhaps the Bollinger Bands to continue dipping downwards a little and it's clinching onto there. Now, in terms of stochastic fast and stochastic slow, both are trading sideways. And if we were to go ahead and chart it a little from the 6229, which is a really off point from where it is currently at, and going all the way down towards the 821 or 8, sorry, to 812. And what we get to see here is that there's a very significant support sitting at 2091. Fibonacci support below there, 813. Significant resistances are 2081, 3521, 4160, 69, oh, sorry, 5069, and 6228. Comes to the question to where are the supports and resistances that we can count on? And then we can start going on with a bit of a price line action. And we see that this very significant support is at 2035. Below there, you dump down a little to 1577, 1390, and then down to 1152 significant resistances you're looking at 2426 following that 2714 following that 2030 following that you're looking at 3436 we see another resistance as well somewhere around the 40 dollar mark and then above there you're looking at 4539 and then above to 59 5099 and up to 63 bucks comes to the question to add what do you think about this one it's definitely had a really long ride a wild one going more than 50% down from the 63 bucks all the way to 20, almost 67% 7, down. Um, and it comes to the question to, well, will we see a bounce? Well, you're a very crucial support here at somewhere around the $20 park. And if that does drop below, things might look a little bit worse for Fubo in the future. But I see a bounce happening here. If the market does recover a little and correct itself, things are looking very interesting onto this one. What do you think about the sticker? Make sure to mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like. Have a wonderful day.